Hello everyone, this is TV News at 7, reaching you live from our headquarters here in Lagos. We begin in the nation's capital, where it's been a busy day for President Bola Tinubu, who met with the new service chiefs in a closed door meeting. The meeting held at the presidential villa Abuja and was attended by the Chief of Defence Staff, Major General C.G. Musa, Chief of Army Staff, Major General T. Lagbaja, Chief of Air Staff, uh, Air Vice Marshal H.B. Abubakar, and Chief of Naval Staff, Rear Admiral Emmanuel Likuchuku Ogala as well as Acting Inspector General of Police, DIG, Kyle Diegbetoko. While the new service chiefs have since assumed duties, their appointments have generated diverse reactions from Nigerians. The meeting marks the first time President Tinubu will meet the new service chiefs officially as president. Speaking after the meeting, National Security Advisor Nuhu Ribadu said the president has appointed quality people and they will deliver improved security to Nigerians. He thanked the president for the opportunity to serve the country, noting that he assured them he's ready to secure Nigeria. We believe that the choice he made is the right one, the correct one. And we know what he wants for this country. We are going to work tirelessly to ensure that we accomplish that objective of securing our country, establishing peace, stability, and let's get our lives back. He gave us the assurance that he is with us 100%. He told us that we must work as a team, and there is a work to be done. He will expect us to deliver, and we are grateful for the opportunity. And joining me now on TVC News at 7, his service are to discuss the service chiefs in the meeting with the president and um, what to expect in the coming days. We have CEO Security Watch Africa, Patrick Agbambo. Mr. Agbambo, thank you for joining us on the news. What do you consider that top priority for this new service chiefs and the acting IG? Uh, thank you. Um, I, I think the president is starting well by... Uh, this meeting uh, with the with the newly appointed service chiefs, uh, what what they need to do is what he has also already told them, which is teamwork. Uh, I'm glad that um, the team already know themselves. Um, they are already coming from a background where uh, teamwork and synergy have been the uh, hallmark. Um, dating back to last uh, few two years, uh, the security. Uh, services and have been working together closely. So um, I think it's to get it right. Uh, sheer intelligence and timely intelligence for that matter at the right time. And uh, those are the things that needs to be done and maintain uh, the tempo and where possible improve on what is on ground. Um, I'm glad also that um, the new National Security Advisor have said it, that they know the challenges on ground. Uh, he acknowledged that there is improvement, there is uh, improvement, but they will work to ensure that uh, it gets better than it is. I think uh, the work is already cut out for them. They, mm. they know what to do, which is to ensure that we do not go a step backward. Rather, we must move, go better, um, a more secure uh, uh, nation. You know, for some time now, there's been a lot of talk about security forces and agencies are working at cross purposes. Uh, how well would you say the outgone service chiefs did in getting these different um, agencies and forces to work together as a team? Um, I will tell you that um, since 2015, uh, the, work, the push had been, uh, the clamor had been for synergy, working closely together. Um, but uh, the truth of the matter is this has to be inculcated in the various training institutions and academies of these um, security forces and security services uh, that no single ag agency or service uh, is superior to the other when it comes to issue of providing security for Nigerians. Yes, uh, their jobs are already spelled out in their various uh, mandates, um, those that are the military to secure the territorial integrity. Yes, even though currently uh, they are in more than 30, 34 states of the Federation, 
carrying out internal security services uh, in, com in conjunction with other sister services and the police particularly, um, I, we believe that um, the, the previous times there have been a bit of improvement in making sure that this synergy and teamwork uh, gets better. But more still needs to be done. I, I, I have expressed, I had expressed it earlier and I'm still saying it that uh, the Office of the National Security Advisor has a lot of work to do. That, to me, has been the missing link in the past. Um, the office must play the role it's supposed to play, which is coordinating the security forces and agency. And uh, they must have a joint, the regular joint intelligence uh, board must be met, must, must hold every, every week, and possibly every week, every day, to appraise the situation on ground and improve and disseminate this information timely, because that is where it's lacking. People must sit up to do their work. Uh, but in terms of uh, the desire to work as, as a team, yes, the desire is there. But in the actual practice, uh, it's been lacking for some reasons, which is that each agency believes they are superior. Each agency wants uh, to be the one to carry the glory. And, but it shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be that way. We must all acknowledge that we are, they are all working together to ensure that the country and Nigerians are safe. President Tinubu did promise to reform the security um, structure and doctrine as well as its architecture. And we're looking forward to see how much synergy we will record in the coming days. Uh, Patrick Agbambo, CEO of Security Watch Africa. Thank you for talking to us on the news tonight. Thank you.